What's up guys, it's Chris. You're watching Plumbing Explained and today we're going to be replacing a 3 inch canister style flush valve for a 2 piece Kohler toilet. If you could please just take a moment while I have the video paused and go down and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a like on the video. It's completely free and it really helps us out. So what I just pointed to there is the flush valve gasket. That's what seals the flush valve to the tank making it watertight. And on the underside, you've got this large three inch nut that's holding the flush valve onto the tank. Now I've seen guys use a variety of different tools to loosen these larger nuts, but I always find an oil filter wrench is like the best tool for this application. And then I use my Nipex, they're large pliers that have like a rounded jaw that are perfect for this. They're meant for gripping pipe and uh things like that but they're perfect for this application to back up the flush valve while you're loosening the nut with your oil filter wrench that way the flush valve doesn't just sit there and spin on you but you can also stick your hand down in like i'm doing here and grab the little crossbars that the canister seats into on top there are these little crossbars and uh, you can hold on to those and those will help you back it up if you don't have another wrench Another little trick that I recommend is spraying some CLR down before ever even trying to take that nut off. The CLR will help break up the hard water that has sealed that nut and made it harder to remove, and it'll probably be much easier for you. So once you've got the nut off, the flush valve will slide right out, and so will the metal mounting bracket for the tank. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull that mounting bracket off, wipe it down, make sure it's all nice and clean down there, before we install the new flush valve. In order to finish removing the old flush valve, you're gonna have to detach the chain from the toilet handle and the fill valve tube from the top of the flush valve. Before installing the new flush valve, I always recommend that you give it a good look over. Inspect the gasket thoroughly. Make sure there's no slashes or any type of damage to this gasket because that gasket is what's giving, going to give us our watertight seal. So if there's any damage to that gasket, all the work you do after this is gonna be for nothing because it's gonna be leaking outside the toilet and that could potentially cause damage to your home. After inspecting the gasket, you're gonna go ahead and just slide the new flush valve in. You're gonna take your plate and set it over the flush valve. I recommend sticking your hand down in the flush valve and holding the cross there, like I said earlier, to help stabilize the flush valve to at least get the nut started. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the curved part of that mounting plate is facing towards the toilet handle. So the front of the toilet, basically. The flat part should be facing the back, the part that goes up close to the wall, facing the wall. Then you're gonna go ahead and thread your nut back down onto the flush valve. And you're gonna to wanna to get it nice and tight. Get it real snug. It's gonna, you're gonna definitely want it tighter than hand tight. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your oil filter wrench again and tighten that thing down. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that that metal bracket is evenly installed. So on the back side, like closest to me, the part that should be facing the wall, there are two little tabs that have screw holes in them in case I guess you wanted to mount the tank to the wall or screw the tank to the wall. Well, you wanna make sure that those two tabs have roughly the same amount of distance from them and the tank so that when you go to install this tank back on the bowl, it's not sitting crooked. Once you've got the flush valve tightened to the tank, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead Take a step back, look and make sure that the bracket is evenly installed so that you've got equal distance from each tab on the back to the tank. If not, it's no big deal. Just loosen it up and then straighten that bracket out and then go ahead and retighten it. The reason you want to make sure that bracket is as straight as possible is because if it's not, the tank will sit crooked when installed on the bowl. Next, we're going to grab our big three inch tank to bowl gasket and seat that over the flush valve and down over the flush valve nut. You're going to want to make sure that this has seated as evenly as possible. Now, before reinstalling the tank to the bowl, you're going to want to do your best to make sure where that gasket is going to seat, it's perfectly clean. There's no buildup, nothing that's going to compromise your seal there. After that, you're ready to go. Reinstall that tank and you're back in business. Drain being a pain, the brown won't go down. 
It's time to deploy Uncle Elroy. He's got the longest snake around. Need to clear your pipes without any gripes. Oh, Uncle Elroy's the guy for the job. He's getting shit done without being a slob. So give the man a like and go and hit subscribe. He's gonna save you money, save you time. He'll teach you how to plumb and won't charge a dime.